Now I would like to tie for you a craft fur sunfish. The hook I have in the vise is an octopus hook. This is a size 6. I'm going to use an orange thread. This is a light orange. It's not a day glow. We're going to put a base of thread down on the hook. I'm going to start out with a pair of uh, rooster hackle. These are from the top of a dun. We're going to tie them in right on top. There we go. Just be careful you don't take them around the bend of the hook any because then they'll be pointing down. It's actually better to have them pointing towards the top a little bit. I'm even going to keep my thread a little bit away from the very end. I'm going to start out with this uh, brown craft fur. It has black accents on it. I'm going to take a bunch of that. This is more, I, I would refer this to like a coyote tail or a fox tail color. I'm going to take my comb and remove the thick stuff or the short stuff. And we're going to keep that about three quarters the length of the feather. I'm going to tie this on the bottom. Gonna let my thread pull it to the center. Take your bodkin needle and divide that around the bend of the hook. I'm going to take my thread and or my scissors and trim away the excess. Take another clump of the same color and we're going to put that one on top. And we'll start adding a little bit of color to it. I'm going to take a little bit of this bright green. We're going to keep that shorter. I'm going to put a little bit on the top and side of each side. Now I'm forming a kind of a step there, so I'm going to go ahead and take this bunch and cut that a little bit of an angle and tie in. Put a bunch of the uh, coyote tail on there again, making that just a little bit shorter. Tie this in. Get that to wrap around the whole thing there. Just move that with my th thumbnail. I'm going to take two pieces of the pink, two separate sections of the pink, and put them on the sides like I did with the green. We could have them to be just shorter than the green. You're going to be able to see all of these colors in the water. Then we can remove the excess. 
I'm going to take a clump of red. With this red, I just cut the short hair, the short under fur off of where I've cut previously. I'm going to put this underneath. We, all, we just want a small, small amount there. I'm going to make a dubbing loop. And make that dubbing loop about six inches. And for my dubbing loop, I'm going to make a combination of the brown. I'm going to put some orange. A little bit of green in there. Take our beeswax. I have all the fur stacked on top of one another. I'm going to put that in, spread it out. Yeah, we're going to give that a spin. And we got a nice color combination here. Using my Velcro to brush it out. Make that nice and long. Advance that thread. And then we can wrap the dubbing brush and I'm going to tie that off and we're going to tie that head off Getting that eye nice and clear. Get some head cement on there. Take my comb and comb that out. I'm going to trim off that bottom. I'm going to take the eyes and put them on. I'm going to put some, uh, going to put my diamond flex on first. Make sure I get some underneath. that eye right on there. I'm going to put some diamond flex on top. I'm going to hit that with my eye light. And do the other and side. Yeah, we have a craft fur sunfish. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. 
and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.